Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Wayne Morris with WHHI. And I'm Deborah Ferguson with WHHI. And today we have a special treat. It's going to be a special edition of 843 TV. And we're going to be talking all about the Port Royal Sound Foundation and what a great cause and a great thing coming to our community. Amazing. Um, our first guest is Chris Marsh. He is on the Board of Trustees for the Foundation and he's going to be kind of laying out what we're going to be getting here and, and what it's going to be all about and how you can access it and some timelines and things like that. It's going to be great. Right. And we also have Rob Montgomery, the architect of the of the building that's being repurposed and uh, what a story he has to tell. Yeah, he had his work cut out yes, for him, it sounds does. like. <laughs> <laughs> and then our final guest is Port Royal Councilman Joe Lee. Uh, we're in Port Royal after all and he's going to talk about the impact in Port Royal and how residents can do their part as well to keep the, the rivers clean. So, so important. Yeah, it really is. It's going to be a great show all about Port Royal Sound Foundation today. So make sure you come back for more 843 TV. Where communities come to speak. Eight four three TV, where Port Royal comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where Dato Island comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome back to 843 TV. We are now joined by Chris Marsh, who is on the Board of Trustees here at the Port Royal Sound Foundation. Chris, how are you? Great, well, thanks. Good, good to be here. Uh, why is the Port Royal Sound Foundation created and, and what is it that you guys are aiming to do? The Port Royal Sound Foundation is really built on uh, efforts that have been going on for the past 25 plus years by the residents of Beaufort County. There was the Clean Water Task Force back in the 1990s that first was established when oyster beds were closed behind Hilton Head. Then with the hard work of Nancy Schilling with the Friends of the Rivers, uh, that work continued uh, through 2001, 2011. Uh, there's also was interest from uh, North of the Broad with the Port Royal Sound Fund. And so the foundation was created by bringing all these interests together. And the Port Royal Sound Foundation is really the next generation of the Friends of the Rivers uh, nonprofit. And so it's here to help capture the love for the water and the concern of protecting the water here. Okay. Chris, um, what, what do you see the role for the Maritime Center being in the um, Port Royal Sound Foundation? One of the biggest challenges for the Port Royal Sound Foundation and for protecting local water quality is that uh, Beaufort County now has uh, stringent stormwater ordinances and so what's left now is to have residents who understand their role. And so without education of all the residents of Beaufort County and Jasper County, we can't protect the water quality. The Maritime Center is located in the ideal location for people to see it, want to come learn what's in it, and therefore be our outreach mechanism to gauge all the residents of the region to learn about how to protect the water of the Port Royal Sound and all the tidal rivers that connect to it. When you say water quality, this may be a naive question, but what exactly does that mean when you, when you mention water quality? Water quality is one of those terms that just sort of people go blank on. <laughs> and so the best way to describe it is to say that if you want to have healthy shrimp, crabs, if you want to keep sports fishing here, uh, if you want to make it so it's safe to swim in the water, it means that you have water that is free of uh, excessive bacteria, that it doesn't have chemicals that kill the larvae of the shrimp and the crabs and the small fish, and it really maintains a healthy ecosystem. Okay, gotcha. Uh, Chris, we're here at this beautiful, soon to be open Maritime Center. Can you tell us what's gonna be inside the building? The Maritime Center is gonna be the place where we tell the stories uh, of this region and also how water quality and the marine life that's in this area is so important to the way of life here. When you come in, you're going to see a predator diorama. It's going to emphasize the role of sports fishing, the stories of large sharks, uh, cobia, and it's also going to talk about dolphins and the underwater world, including the sounds of the underwater world. It's going to give people a chance to have hands-on experiences, the kids and the grandparents. Uh, so it's going to be very much a hands-on place to go. It's also going to tell the history of the area because you can't separate history and landscape here because that's one of the reasons we want to protect this landscape. 
Yeah, and that goes back to the history. History part of it is Port Royal Sound from 1562 forward. People don't realize that much of U.S. history uh, has strong links here. Dr. Larry Rowland, Professor Emeritus at USCB, always says, all U.S. history starts in Beaufort County. <laughs> and now I believe him after being here uh, for about 15 years. Well, and now all these articles uh, in Low Country Weekly about, uh, about the history and going back to Santa Elena. Yeah, Santa Elena, also the Battle of Port Royal was the turning point uh, in terms of naval history. There's go on and on with those kinds of uh, examples of how important history is and here. It's great to tie it into here. And, and this is the place you come yeah. hear these stories. Some people love nature, other people love people. So by telling both the story of the environment and of the local history, then people understand why it's so important to protect Beaufort and Jasper counties the way it is now. Yeah, is, is this concept done anywhere else? Is this or unique to this facility? There is no other place that brings everything together. What's really important to understand is that Buford County and Jasper County have lots of special places to go and they're unique places. One of the challenges is that the, the Port Royal Sound Broad River system divides the area to north of the Broad and south of the Broad and so it's, it's there's no place that lets you see how to integrate all these. Mm -hmm. So this will be the place to come if you want to learn about Mitchellville, Penn Center, Fort Fremont, um, up in Jasper County. Um, there are all these different places to come and this is the place to introduce people on how special this place is and all the different places to go to learn history and nature. You know, there's a, it's on a much different scale, but um, I remember visiting the Monterey Aquarium out in California and they adapted an old building that was affiliated with the waterfront, kind of like the Maritime Center, adapting the old marina. And um, I think it's, it's really neat to be able to um, marry those, that history to the new um, mission statement of the Port Royal Sound Foundation, the education. It's, it's going to be really, really a cool facility, I think. Uh, Chris, there's so many wonderful communities you just mentioned. So what communities around here should be involved in the Port Royal Sound Foundation? When you look at the map, people think, see all the water. Over 50% of Beaufort County is water. And everybody thinks about their tidal creek or their tidal river behind them, the May River or the Okatee or the Colleton, and they think of that as their river. What they need to understand is that all the waterways here are actually water coming from the ocean. So you have to think of our waterways like a tree with branches. So every community that looks over water or is near water or cares about water is actually connected to the Port Royal Sound. So we're all connected by this waterway. So no matter where you live in Beaufort County, you absolutely have to rely on the help of Port Royal and Port Royal Sound in order to um, enjoy where you are and what makes this area a special place to live. Well, that's great. Real quickly, tell us if, if somebody watching at home wants to get involved, who should they contact and, and what should they do? One of the first things you can do is just go to our website, portroyalsoundfoundation.com, where you can learn more information and you also can find ways to, to be in touch. Uh, and we're getting ready to uh, kick off a membership drive, which we'll talk more about later. Great. Well, thank you for being here with us today. Well, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yes, sir. And stay tuned. We'll be right back with more 843 TV.